Hello friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. In this video, we shall discuss about different types of structural forms. In structural design, the major important part is load transfer. These structural forms are used to transfer the load from one point to the other point of the structure. The most commonly used structural forms are beams, plane frame, space frame, plane truss and space truss. Apart from this, there are few other structural forms are available and those are arches and cables and plates and shells. In this video, we are going to discuss about the above five types of structural forms. Each type of structural forms supports the load in a different way. Let us discuss in detail about each type of structural forms, their usage, how they are transferring the load and what are all the internal forces developed in each type of structural forms. The first one is the beams. Beams are the horizontal simple structural element compared to the other structural forms and they are primarily subjected to bending. Beam deflects in the same plane but it does not twist. All the forces acting on the beam produce shear force, bending moment and that create internal stresses, strain and deflection of the beam. Here are few examples for beams. The first one is the simply supported beam. Here the beam is supported at one end in roller support, the other end in pin support. Here is the continuous beam. The both ends of the continuous beams are fixed and the middle it is having two hinged supports. Plane frames are the two dimensional structural forms and they are made up of beams and columns. You can see here the horizontal members are beams and the vertical members are columns. In plane frame all the members lie in the same plane and they are rigidly connected at joints. Here all the joints are rigidly connected. The internal forces developed in the plane frames are bending moment, shear force and axial force. The next one is the space frame. It is the three dimensional structural form and it is made up of beams and columns and they are rigidly connected. In space frame, the loads are transferred in a three dimensional manner and also the loads are free to act anywhere on the frame. The internal forces developed in the space frame are bending moment, shear force and axial force. Till now we have discussed about beams, plane frame and space frame. They are mainly used in RCC structures. Now we are going to discuss about plane truss and space truss. They are mainly used in steel structures. Plane trusses are two dimensional structural forms. In plane truss, all the members are assumed to be in same plane, that is in X and Y plane. Here is the plane truss. These are all the members and these are all the joints and here is the support. It is the triangulated system of members connected by means of pin joint and they are mainly subjected to axial force only. That means there is no bending moment in process. These members are rigidly connected at joints and due to this rigidity, bending moments are introduced but they are negligible. Trusses could move either horizontally or vertically or combination of them. That means trusses can have only roller support and hinged support. These plane trusses can be used in railway stations, railway bridges and factories. The next one is the space truss. It is the three dimensional structural form and members are oriented in all the three direction. Communication tower, power transmission tower and cranes are few examples for space truss. Similar to the plane truss, all the members in the space truss also carry only axial force. 
friends hope you all like this video if you like this video please do comment like and share and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you